we'll see. Here we have an example to cosine theta, sine theta equals cosine theta. And the directions for this example are to solve, and we're going to solve on the interval zero to two pi. This is similar to a factoring example when you solve the polynomial equations. So we wanna get it equal to zero. We'll do that by subtracting cosine from both sides. It does not impact the two cosine theta sine theta at all. It just gets written next to it. They are not like terms. It equals zero. Now to solve polynomial equations or even equations like this, if you have a greatest common factor, factor. Factor out your greatest common factor. My greatest common factor is cosine theta. This expression has one and so does this. Don't get weird about what's left behind right there. Here, you're left with two sine theta. Here, you're left with one, not a zero. If you put zero, what would you distribute back to go backwards, you know? Then this is already factored. Cosine theta is really the same as cosine theta plus zero, which no one writes that. And then this is two sine theta minus one. So maybe it looks more like a classic factored example to you when it looks like this. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna use zero product property essentially. Cosine theta, I'm not writing plus zero, equals zero. And two sine theta minus one equals zero. Add one and divide by two. I'm skipping that work. And all you ask yourself is the cosine of what angle between zero and two pi, or angles, there could be more than one answer, the cosine of which angles on the unit circle equal zero. And again, cosine, you should remember, is associated with the x value. So does anybody know what angles would make this statement true? What angles? You could just shout it out. Go ahead. Pi over two and three pi over two. Perfect. So at the top and the bottom of the unit circle, and then here we have two answers as well. The question you ask yourself, the sine of which angle or angles give us a y value on the unit circle, if that helps you visualize it, or a sine ratio of positive one half, so up one half. So you wanna let us know, go for pi it. Six. What is it? Pi over six and five pi over six. Yeah, pi over six and five pi over six. So this question has four answers altogether. If we list them in order from least to greatest, that would be pi over six is the smallest, comma, pi over two is next, comma, I don't know where my commas are going, sorry. Um, five pi over six is next, and last is three pi over two. Or you leave it like this, where they're kind of grouped together with their, uh, their buddy angle, okay? Hopefully, you kind of understand this a little bit with more experience, more practice, you should understand them better. If you get it, thumbs up. If you don't get it, thumbs down. If you're like absolutely confused, but rewind, try it again, start over, whatever you need to do. And I hope that this was helpful. All right, there we go.